Have you ever wondered why so many American towns share identical names? Mm. Like Springfield, Madison, Lincoln, York? Mm. We're going to talk about this phenomenon. Let's jump right in. All right. Hey, everybody. Crosstalk FM is an English and Japanese bilingual freestyle podcast. In this podcast, we explore some cross-cultural themes and trends. I'm Andrea. I am Tomoya. So before jump into this intriguing topic, I'm curious, Andrea-san, what is the most commonly used name for American towns? Ooh, I don't actually know. I haven't researched this, but I'm going to guess Springfield. Oh, that's really good guess. Do you know what it is? I know. You do? Okay. <laughs> you can tell me then. <laughs> what is it? So, I'm going to talk about it today. Okay. All right. All right. え、その前にちょっとま、簡単にこの回の話をどんな話をしていくか日本語で言うと、ま、アメリカにはいろんなシティの名前がありますよね。いや、シティーズ僕がちょっとなんかイメージ強いのはヨークね。ヨークね。ヨーク、ニューヨークとかね。ニューヨークライト、ニューヨーク。そのでイギリスに行った時ヨークっていうね、まあ地域があって。Yes. <笑> Yeah. So, we want to discuss about why there are so many same-named towns in the U.S. Okay. Yeah, because, like, America's a big country. So, it's not, I guess, so weird or so strange to think that there could be more than one Springfield city or more than one Washington. Like, you know, we have a Washington state and we have the District of Columbia, Washington. So, you know, it's not so unusual. It is a big country. Right. Not really. I just think it's more of a historical reason. So, Yes. イギリスからの移民の人たちが、まあ、自分たちの故郷の名前を取って、あの、その土地の名前をね、つけていったっていうのが、まあ、始まりなんですけども。Right. And so that's why you have a lot of towns with new in front. Mm-hmm. So York is the original city in England or the original location in England, and the New York is the American version of that, the mm-hmm. American name. Also Jersey. Jersey. You have Jersey in uh-huh. the UK, and then we have New Jersey in America. I see. Mm-hmm. How about New Orleans? New Orleans, right. There's uh, Orleans, Orleans, probably in France, actually. Ah, so. The French settled that part of uh, North America, e- uh, and New Orleans is the the new one, the new version of the city in America, in the USA. I see. Yeah. So there's many, like, a new... Yeah, this new Caledonia. Yeah. <laughs> there's all kinds of new mm. <laughs> new city names. <laughs> right. And then there's also places that don't have the new that have the exact same name as the cities in Europe. Mm. Uh, how about New Mexico? Is it also the same? Oh, that's a good question. Um actually that part of the country originally belonged to Mexico, the country. Mm. So that whole southern part, like a, a large, a very large chunk of Texas, New Mexico, uh, Nevada, Arizona, like these southern states, southwestern states, all belonged to Mexico. And then the U.S. had a war with Mexico and took that land. Mm-hmm. And yes, so that that name is... 
giving homage or, you know, res mm. paying respect to the fact that it was originally Mexican land. Uh-huh. I see. Yes. A lot of the place names, especially in that part of the country, are actually from Native American names. Mm -hmm. The tribe names, like Arizona, the Arizona Indians, oh. or uh, Nevada, the mm. ne Nevada Indians. So it's the name from came from the aboriginal, uh, not aboriginal, like... The, the, yeah, the original people. Original people. Right. Actually, a lot of the state names, even Kansas, the Kansas Indians, mm. the Missouri Indians, the mm -hmm. Mississippi River, like the Mississippi Indians, a lot of our names come from the original Indian names. Uh -huh. So it's a weird mixture of like original Indian names plus all these names from Europe. Mm. <laughs> That's really interesting. It is interesting. Mm. So like the history we learn in school is not anything about this. Mm. You learn this stuff outside of school and this is this is actually very interesting. So yeah. there's so many same named towns in the USA. Yeah. So, for example, she said Springfield. Right. And also, I, I researched a uh, town name. It's a Franklin, Clinton. Franklin. Franklin, okay. Franklin. Okay. Madison's. Madison, okay. Arlington. Really? Arlington? どこが一番、その、よく使われてる土地の名前だと思いますかんどこの、どのこの名前がよく I'm going to still stick with my original answer of Springfield. That is, That's just a guess. That's just okay. a guess. I don't actually know. So, the answer is now Springfield. Really? Oh. 67 places using 67. I know two. I know two. <laughs> 67 places using Springfield. Well, the city is or the city's name is not the same, but... スプリングフィールドって名前になってます。リーリー。はい。まあ、あとは他のは大体似たようなもんで、でもそれでも30箇所とか。オッケー。ファンクリンは31、1、シティ。31、31。オッケー。フランクリンは31、1、シティ。31
Oh, I never Lying. heard of this. It's a nice name. Uh, there's also a town in Iowa called What Cheer. What Cheer. It sounds like a brand of clothing. <laughs> what Cheer. What Cheer. <laughs> <laughs> there's also a town called Boring. <laughs> えー、そんな町もあるわけ。Yeah. 町というか都市というか。Yeah. <笑> There's also a town called、uh, OK。へえ。OKAY。OKAY。Yeah. OK。City OK。Yeah. The city of OK、えー。<笑> There's all kinds of weird names like that, you know. Oh, on the other end. So there's like really common names like Franklin and Clinton and Springfield and Madison. And then there's like, there's only one blue eye. There's only one boring. <laughs> I hope there's only one boring. <laughs> いい、ね、yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, my book no ita, Australia deva, so no Australia deva, so no original, so no original people, gane. アボリジナルピーポル。だったけどあの、最近ではアボリジニって言わないんだよね。Really? No. What do they say? あのそれはオリジナルピーポーオリジナルピーポーとか、You told me before there's a way to call these kind of people. あ、oh, あ、what is it? I was trying to remember, but I couldn't come up. It depends on the Country because like Canadians will say First Nations,、uh-huh. First Nations people, and that makes sense because they were nations, they had nations or groups, tribes、uh. before the settlers came over. Americans say Native Americans, and then the, yeah, the,、uh, the Australians have a different way to say it.、Um, in, indigenous. In, oh, indigenous people. Indigenous. Indigenous people. Yeah. Indigenous people. Right. They are in Australia, they are in Australia, they are in Australia. はエアズロックと言わないでウルルって言いますね。Yeah, Ulu, Ulu. Ulu. They changed the name recently.、Mm. Actually, Australia has been pretty good about that. They're changing a lot of the names back to the indigenous names.、Mm. So, like a lot of the forests or the large like national parks that the government has been holding, they're kind of returning ownership to the、uh, indigenous people、mm. and then changing the name back to what it was before. The settlers came. So, Australia is doing a really nice job of, of incorporating. So, ne? Yeah, there, there are different cultures. Like, I think there's a lot of people who are in the world. Do you think this phenomenon happened only in the US? Like, this phenomenon happened only in the US? Good question. Probably not. I would say it probably happened in other countries where. Europeans went to settle or conquer. So, any, any country that's colonized by the British probably has this、mm-hmm. to an extent.、I、Australia、see. certainly does. Yes, it does. Right? Australians' names are often referring back to the, the British location. Right. So, this is Australia, Egyptian, and the name of the Yeah. まあ、道路とかの名前ね。Sure. Yeah. 使われてますよね。ジョージストリートとか。Oh, okay. だから僕のイメージでジョージっていうのは多分一番よく使われてるそうな名前なんですけども。Mm. Yeah, it, it does sound very common.、うん、<笑>エリザベスとか。Uh-huh. わかんないですけど。<笑>ク,イクイーンズストリートとかね。クイーンズストリート。Oh, is there a Queen Street? 確かにあったと思いますね。Okay. はいでもその一つ一つがなんか結構由来があるみたいで、okay. 探していったら面白いですね。Okay, so how about Japan? Do you think there are cities that has exactly the same name as the others in Japan?、You know? I haven't seen it in Japan. 今ちなみに言うとそのシティの名前だから、シティね。うん。とあのなんとかし何何しってことだね。日本で言うと。I have 
There are people that have the names of the prefectures, like Okayama-san. I know a woman named Okayama-san, and we're in Okayama Prefecture. Uh, I know a Tottori-san. Different kanji, though. Mm. (laughs) Uh, But I don't... I haven't come across a place with the same name except Fukuoka. Mm. So Fukuoka City is Fukuoka. That's down in Kyushu. But there's a Fukuoka... Uh, district around here, around Okayama, and there is a relation. Like there is, there is a reason why it's called Fukuoka, and I think it was one of the daimyos or one of the lords exiled, or he was exiled, and he came here, or he passed through here, and so the land where he was here was named after him. Hmm. He was from Fukuoka in Kyushu, or something like that. But that know. place not called Fukuoka City. No, it's right? not a city. It's like a Fukuoka. Coup. It's like a district or a county or something. I don't know. Mm. Goon. So we Goon. Goon. <laughs> <laughs> So we were talking about city. City. Name. No, I haven't. I haven't seen it among cities. So the answer is simply yes and no. Yes and no. Okay. Mm. That's not simply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me explain about it. Okay. ちょっと調べてきたんですけども、日本で同じ全く同じ名前の都市の名前があるかどうかなんですけども、え、基本的な法律では作っちゃダメです。オッケー、フォーシティネーム。アメリカではいいんだよね、それがね。いや、ないのえ、ビメイドネームズ あの、同じ名前のね。それが一つは広島県にある府中市と東京都にある府中市っていうのがあるらしいですけど。ね、広島といえば僕らの隣ですけど、府中市ってね、聞いたことあるよね。いや、いや、I え、北海道と福島県に伊達市っていうのがあるね。伊達市。オッケー。うん、らしいですよ。これが本当になるね。オッケー。うん。まあ、そう、まあでもこの2つぐらいなもんです。だけだけです。わあ、オッケー。オッ
I'm just guessing. Maru no jaga, Oshiro no naka, Oshiro no, so no area no naka, I got a ne. Oshiro no hon maru to ka yimasa ne. Hon maru, that's what it is. Thank you very much. Hon maru to no daka, hon, mo main, main castle. The main keep, okay, the main keep of the castle. Well, I kind of, it was in my mind because I just visited Matsuyama Castle a few weekends ago and I read most of the plaques. You know, they have the little plaques where you can read about the history. And they had very nice ones in Japanese and English both. So、mm. I didn't read every single one, but I read the main ones. I see. So that was in my mind, you know. This. Well, so no tori gozaimas. Hi, ma. So no kakuchi no ne, namae no yurai toka, eh, iroiro, omoshoi, history, yane, kaksare toru to omimas ke doma. えー、今日はこんな感じでね終わっていきましょうか。Okay. Ah, very good, very good episode.、Mm, cultural difference. Yeah. We talk these kind of things sometimes. Yeah, I so, like this. Yeah, please check it out if you are interested in. Okay,、all、let's、right. finish up today's episode. Okay, that's all for this episode, guys. If you like our podcast, be sure to subscribe wherever you're listening now. Also, please review us. Your review helps other people find our podcast. And also, if you are tuning in through the podcast, check out our YouTube channel. This is Crosstalk signing off, bringing you English your way every week. Keep listening and keep shining. Bye. Bye.